Hey, Jesse Anna Seville here from the Kidney RD, soon to be Kidney Nutrition Institute. And I wanted to come in today and talk about a common question that we get from our folks with IG nephropathy about protein in the urine. Now, even if you don't have IG nephropathy, you may have questions about how you can reduce protein in your urine and if it's tied just to the amount of protein you eat. And that's what I want to dig into today. So if you don't know me or my group, we are renal dietitians and we are focused on bringing a holistic and functional integrative look into nutrition for kidney disease so that we can help people get consistent results. Um, <clears throat> and uh, one of the things that we have taken a lot of time on uh, studying and learning about in the last several years, it's been a huge part of how we feel like we are advancing the practice is looking at autoimmune disease. Now, if you search around online, let's say you, you go to the doctor and they pick up, you've got a ton of protein spilling in your urine. This actually, this happened to my husband last week, a lot of protein spilling in his urine. Um, they pick it up and then maybe you go through a diagnostic process and you find out you have IJ nephropathy. Um, one of the first questions is how am I going to reduce all this protein in my urine? And uh, if you search around on the internet, you'll probably fall into places where people talk about plant-based diets helping out quite a bit. And so maybe you start eating totally vegan um, and you see the protein start to drop down a little bit. But some people get really great results with that, but not everyone does either. Uh, then, or maybe, you know, you just, you ask your doctor and they put you on a medication that helps slow the protein, or maybe they put you on a steroid so they can kind of slow the autoimmune attack. And that's kind of where you're left for the most part. What you need to understand about protein in the urine is number one, it's not just about how much or what type of protein you eat. It's not an input output <laughs> process when it comes to protein in the urine. What is happening when you have protein in your urine is that your body is has you know for lack of better words leaky kidneys <laughs> you have leaky kidneys so you have and i i'm sorry i'm gonna have to look at my other screen for my notes so you have what are called glomeruli and then you also have tubules in your kidneys um usually what happens is as your body is filtering waste the um the the some of the small proteins, they'll sneak through the glomeruli, the tubules will catch them, it'll reabsorb and then never gets into your urine. However, if they have been damaged in any way, maybe you have inflammation or in the case of IgA nephropathy, the IgA antibodies are targeting your uh, kidneys, then um, that's where they get real leaky and you start spilling a lot of protein. Because of that, you can't just say, if I change my protein in my diet, that I am going to get better and I'll stop all this protein spilling because the problem never was how much protein you ate. The problem was that you have an autoimmune condition going on. Um, if we're talking about IgA nephropathy in particular, and you have IgA antibodies attacking your glomeruli or your tubules, and that is what's making them leaky and causing them to spill protein that otherwise in a healthy kidney would get reabsorbed. So what do you do? You need to get back to the root of the problem, which is your amped up immune system. If your immune system is in overdrive and it's producing extra IgA antibodies or antibodies that are attacking your kidneys, that's where the problem is. The good news is there's definitely things that you can do. Now, in the conventional medical world, what they, what they have you do is start on steroids. Now, there is nothing wrong with doing some steroids for a temporary period of time. But in the long run, you have to think about how you're actually going to address the immune system, which means you have to address your gut. And that's one of the things that we do when we're looking at autoimmune kidney disease, um, lupus nephritis, FSGS, any of the autoimmune kidney disease we are going back to the root of where the problem is. And honestly, that's the gut. The gut houses 70 to 80% of your immune function. It drives so much of your immune system. You have to couple that with being real smart with what nutrients you're taking in, the micronutrients in particular, because you know the thyroid and hormones are involved. But you have to nourish the gut and think carefully about what's going on with the microbiome, because that's really a huge opportunity when it comes to 
being able to always, always uh, address and manage autoimmune disease successfully. So that's one of the things that we do. We sometimes will pull out food sensitivities because they wreak their own havoc on the gut. And uh, we found that to be effective as well. Um, okay, so as a recap, if you are spilling a lot of protein, definitely looking at how much protein you're eating is important, but it's not the only thing that matters because you have to for sure understand why your kidneys are leaky. And it's not just because you're eating tons of protein, even though that can be important. For some people, moving towards a fully plant-based diet can be helpful, but that also does not work for every single person. Uh, if you're interested in knowing more or you want to work with one of our clinicians, learn a little bit more about our unique approach where we are looking at the therapy from a whole body perspective, um, go ahead and click on the link below where you can schedule a discovery call with myself or my colleague Amy, and we'll walk you through some of our approaches that we feel like are really effective at actually getting to the root cause of what's going on so that people can live a happy, healthy life without having to worry all the time about whether or not their kidneys are going to tank and they'll end up on dialysis. That's not the life that you have to live. And uh, we love the work that we do because we know it makes a big, big impact. Anyways, hope that is helpful and we'll talk to you later.